for hanging out with me tonight. How are you? How you doing? Welcome. It's so good to have you back. It's been a great foodie Friday. You've been busy today. We've all been busy. And look, it smells great in here. The meatballs, the pasta. <laughs> we're going to do rice now. We're, we're, we're covering all rice the Rice and more. Rice and more. Yeah, I love this. All right, so Chef's bringing us from HQ. It is the two-cup multi-cooker and steamer set. Now, here's what I wrote in my notes. Yep. I said, it's the cooking dynamo. That's what I think about this. Absolutely. So, yes, it's a two-cup multi-cooker. It will do your rice, your quinoa, your oatmeal, and so much more. It's a steamer as well. Kitchen HQ, the whole brand was designed to come up with simple solutions, everyday problems in your kitchen. For a lot of us, that's rice, oatmeal, quinoa, things where the ratio really, really matters. Mm -hmm. So let's just start with plain And rice. you can really, really screw it up. And you, you can screw it up. <laughs> really easy. I, like making a perfect rice actually is not that easy. Because it's about ratio and it's about how much water is evaporating, is it steaming correctly, right. all that stuff. So we created the perfect vessel to do it for you. Take the thinking out of it. Love it. Check this out. Here's how it works with the rice. It comes with the measuring cup, so you take one cup of plain rice, okay? And then for every cup, I like one and a quarter cup of water. But Suzanne, get creative. You could put one and a quarter cup of stock in here. Oh, like right? chicken stock. Chicken okay. stock, veg stock, whatever. Now also, you could put some spices in here, some turmeric, paprika, spike it yellow, whatever you Beautiful. wanted to. But anyway, you put the lid on, click cook, and leave it. That's all you do. <laughs> That's it. You're not rinsing the rice? Yes. You're exactly. You're not playing with temperatures, low, high, yeah. turning yeah, up. Huh. Put in the rice at that ratio with the provided measuring cup and put cook. Now, I want you That's to explain. It. If you guys saw him put it in the first point, yep. it was almost floating. Exactly. Why was the whole pot floating? Because this is part of how cool this is. Because it's a sensor. Yeah. So once the rice and water goes in, the sensor activates, and now it starts cooking for right. you. Right. When the water evaporates away, that will pop up and the sensor turns off. Isn't that cool, guys? So, so that it genius? knows. Like, you literally can walk away and not worry about overdoing it or overcooking it. You walk away. You don't worry about fluffing it. You don't worry about, oh, is there water left over? Any of that. <laughs> when great. it's done, Suzanne, yeah. that button goes from cook up to warm. And that's it. Oh, and it'll sit there and stay warm it'll for you while you're warm. serving or waiting for it the kids to get home It stays warm for you. And Look, there and it's the perfect it fluffy rice. Fluffy. Now, how much rice did you make in that? So, one cup of dry rice okay. will yield two cups of cooked rice. Perfect. Because that rice soaks up all that liquid. But you can see, I didn't pre-soak the rice. I didn't play with my temperature. <laughs> I just put it in. I press. It's, it's honestly perfect, you can tell. You can tell. It's not now, sticking together, but the, it's not... Too sticky. Does exactly. That make sense? Exactly. And the sign of good rice is when you see the individual grains of rice. That's how you know that it's perfect. That's when it's awesome. fluffy, not stuck together. So we really took the idea, but all sorts of foods, the ratios are important. Quinoa, oatmeal, brown rice, white rice, jasmine rice. You can do it all, no more guesswork, let it do it for you. And I just totally love this size. Now we're gonna show you the steamer in yeah. a second, but let me give you colors, tell you where we stand, because this is also a limited, unfortunately. It's the end of a big day. All right, so we have three colors. We have the black, this is gonna be your red, and this is gonna be your teal. According to my producer, Jared, who's now with me, the teal is 180 remaining. And I love this too. You know what, you say, well, you know, I'm gonna get home, I gotta cook something for the family, you gotta make a little something for me, my partner, the two of us, whatever or maybe it's four people. It's so easy to use this. And you know what's amazing is all the stuff you can do beyond just basic rice or quinoa, yep. that kind of thing. Like this thing becomes a little, as I call, dynamo. Yep. You'll be shocked at all the fun stuff he's about to show us as well. But so, there's, uh, look, the so, sheer quantity of gosh, rice is incredible. that actually is like, for what do you say, for about four people maybe? I would say four to six people. I mean, this is two cups That's of That's actually so rice. surprising, because look how, look, look at this, guys. It looks small, It but looks really deceiving. small, look very deceiving, deceiving. It made that whole big platter of rice. That's that's awesome. See, look, doesn't take up a lot of space. So there is your rice cooker. We call it the two cup multi cooker. You're doing your rice, your quinoa, your brown rice, all that good stuff. But then we got really smart and added in this little steaming basket on top. So you could pop this on top while you're cooking your rice, while you're cooking your quinoa, and steam at the same time. Do your veggies, do your fish, do your shrimp. Cooking with no fat, really healthy, and really, really fast. Why don't we do, let's do the veg first, because okay. it looks ready. Vibrant oh, broccolini, wow. peppers, baby carrots. Now again, this is all steam cooking. Uh -huh. So you're cooking with zero extra it's, fat. Yeah, better flavors. Better so. flavors, keeps it super, super, super moist. 
and it's fast. I'm not heating up an oven. I'm definitely not microwaving. Come on. <laughs> no, we're I not know. doing that. He's, so, he, he gave me a dirty look when he said microwave. No, we're not microwaving. <laughs> These veggies are too beautiful. So you're going to steam your veggies That's while great. you cook your rice, while you cook your quinoa, while you cook your brown rice at the same time. And it's as simple as putting that steaming basket on top. The but you can way. do something below. This time you didn't, but Absolutely. you could if you wanted to. Uh, also, could I technique. add any kind of thing in the steam, like a wine, if I wanted to give some put flavor? Put a splash of white wine, okay. put some stock. You know, when cooking rice, the ratio is liquid to rice or liquid to quinoa, etc. That liquid could be anything. Oh. It could be chicken stock, veg stock, beef stock, oh. splash of wine. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Okay. So All you're right. doing your whole meal in this little two-cup multi-cooker. And about how long does it take? 15 minutes. <laughs> really? 15 so you can minutes? start this, walk away, yep. and make something else, and by the time you're ready for dinner, it's all ready. It's all ready. Before we came up with this, I was soaking my rice for 15 or 20 minutes, and then cooking my rice. So we've removed the soaking, we've removed the guesswork, That's great. and Suzanne, I can't emphasize this enough, there's no buttons in terms of <laughs> low heat, high heat, right. medium heat, <laughs> playing with the heat. It's cook. And it's warm. <laughs> like, you cannot screw this up. <laughs> I love it. So. And I love rice, too. I think it's such a great accompaniment to so many different foods. Yeah. I mean, if you think about the use of rice around Ooh. the world, and obviously, Chef, you've been doing this a long yeah. time. I mean, there's multiple recipes, multiple countries, multiple ethnicities yeah. that eat rice as one of their staple items. And that's why I really love showing off the technique of how to do basic rice, because from that technique, depending on what you're cooking, Indian, Mexican, yeah, right, right. you know, Caribbean. Yeah. You put whatever spices and well, then it will transform Well, think about if rice. you're doing a wok and you're doing a, you know, like a, um, a chicken broccoli wok, you've got your rice all ready to go. And then you Absolutely. put it on there, and boom. You've got literally a meal for four people ready to go and really quick. And you're good quick. to go. And yeah. again, Suzanne, it could be quinoa. It could be brown rice. It could be jasmine rice. So even with brown, because I hear brown's pretty notoriously picky. Yeah. Like tough to do. Same idea. Perfect. You know, when it comes to cooking stuff like rice and grains and all that stuff, it really is all about ratio and controlling temperature, cooking off the water at the right time. So this is really really ingenious because it does have that kind of gravity element. When the water cooks off, yeah. the machine will turn off from cook to warm. It's perfect. So it's perfect. That's like, a gorgeous salmon, And by that the is way. a beautiful salmon. I love to wow. put a little bit of lemon in there. Mm. So like I said, you're doing your salmon, you're doing your shrimp. You could even steam some chicken in there. While you're cooking your grain on the bottom, okay. use the steamer basket and cook your meal on top. You know, it's funny. I remember when we launched the original one. Did not have the steamer basket, good, by the yeah. way. That is such a smart upgrade. Okay, uh, teal. If you would like the teal, I just got a little update. We have 50 left. So if you love this gorgeous teal you see right here in front of Chef, we have 50 left and then that's sold out. Now then everybody's going to be stumbling to get the other two. Why tonight? It's under $20. And this is one of those great items you'll have in your kitchen. Or for me, it's like my son and his girlfriend. They live together in their first apartment. It's great for them, you know. If you're a really busy person or maybe you're by yourself. I think a lot of times when you live alone, mm -hmm. you're like, well, it's just easier to go through the drive-thru. We know that's not good for us, mm -hmm. but you don't want to cook a big pot sure. of rice because you know you're not going to eat that much, right? Look at that. You could have done the rice and that beautiful salmon all at once, you know, 10, 15 minutes, that's and it. you've got your own meal. So if you live by yourself and you're kind of eating pre-made stuff or you're yep. going through, you're ordering in, I think this is kind of that perfect item. Also, I got to tell you, sending anybody to a dorm. They're not allowed to have any kind of, you know, big mm -hmm. cooking things. But typically, we had a rice cooker in my dorm and yep. we swore by it. That was way back when. <laughs> and, and, you know, and it never goes out of style. <laughs> right, Because right. they were great because they take guesswork out of cooking and rice. And it's staple food. And it's a staple <laughs> if food. If you're on a budget, rice is really inexpensive to eat. <laughs> and this is the time, I, I love that you said that, Suzanne, this is the time to cook at home. I love that we did the whole day of Foodie Friday because we really are talking about cooking at home. Mm -hmm. Rice is a staple. I eat a lot of quinoa, a lot of brown rice, a lot of white rice, because it is such a foundational element for so many different cuisines. Now, also- Chef, wait, sorry, Chef Shareer. Um, sure. The teal is sold out. I'm oh, put no. that down below. So basically, Goodbye, we have teal. two colors left. The next one to go is gonna be your red. It's just a great $20 item. Yeah. And it's a great gift idea. It's great for anybody going to a dorm, living by themselves. I love this. But as you've seen, Chef showed you, that rice can feed four people. So it's not like, oh, it's only a single serving. Sure. I really now, you've got a great big bowl here. So now I'm just doing a little bit of soup here because I want to show off, this is a Good versatile idea. little multi-cooker. You could just leave something on the warm setting. So if you want to keep a batch oh. of chili warm, if you want to keep some queso warm of the game, you oh, could- Oh, queso would be amazing. Put, plug this in on the table, game night. 
little queso, little chili for chili dogs, and just leave it Great on warm. Great idea, and right? it won't overcook it. It will not overcook it. It literally will just keep it at a beautiful temperature. You see my see soup steam here? coming off of it's it. It's just the right temperature. It's not quite at a boil, but you can see the steam coming off. So anything oh, yeah. you want to Oh yeah, if you're doing like warm, a football get together and you want oh, queso yeah. and chips, that's so perfect Isn't for that. that. That's a great idea. You want to bring back fondue? Let's oh, bring back fondue How night, fun would that right? be? Well, let me ask you, too. Let's say you do like an artichoke dick or a, a dip yep. that you want to keep heated. Because those are so popular when Absolutely. people come over. I serve it all the time. Could you put it in there and just keep it warm? Put a cheesy dip in there. And it, it'll keep it the perfect temperature. So it won't congeal. It won't scorch on the bottom. I hope I can show you the bottom. Look, <laughs> so warm is great because it's not boiling. It's not simmering away. It's not reducing. It's just keeping it warm. So Over smart. here, I've got a little jambalaya. Oh, stop and look. It. You did a baby jambalaya. A little baby jambalaya. <laughs> That's awesome. Smell it good. It's like, now, how did you do it? Did you just dump it all in and let it go? I so actually, I steamed the sausage first, did the rice, and then brought it all together and keep it warm. Oh, that's great. Right? Yeah. So you're using all the elements. Do you mind if we unit. throw that out sure. there? Because again, I want you guys to see, it's very deceiving. I think when you first look at this guy, you're like, oh, it's a little thing. I'll make it like for one person. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's really got great capacity. It smells that's, so that's good. It's actually really surprising. <laughs> you got the sausage, you got the rice. Yeah, oh yeah, let's talk about cleaning. What do we do? Dishwasher, easy. Oh, that's great. Dishwasher, dishwasher. Everything is dishwasher safe. And again, that's kind of a staple here at Look Kitchen HQ. Look how perfect that is. Fluffy, delicious. I know, a little we're, bit of cilantro we are on top. busy, busy. The teal's gone. I only have red and black left, everybody. And we've got, what, three flex pays. You can get so this home good. for actually $6.65. So, Chef, I've got to say goodbye to yeah. you for now. Thank you. You've been here all Great day. To we see totally you. appreciate it. It's good hey, to see you. Booty Fridays. Always. Fun we times. We love Booty Friday. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, i got to give you an update on the meatballs. You see those meatballs? Those oh, smell wow. good. They were really good. Mm. Okay, in what? We have 140 left.